Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all okay. Um, today I am going to ignore that, all that banging, my cat is going absolutely nuts. Oh my god, he's lost the plot. Um, today I'm going to be filming um, a kind of a natural sort of eye look. Um, I put a post on Instagram and... People seem to prefer the natural look to the bold look, so we're going to be doing that today. Um, I was going to be uploading a vlog from when we went to Prague and Budapest, but for some reason I'm having like difficulty like getting it onto YouTube. Not really sure what's going on, but if you bear with me, I'll be able to fix it, I'll be able to get it online so you can see what we got up to while we were away um but yeah before we get into the video um please don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos it just helps me and knows that you like what i'm doing and um, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be aware every time i upload a video have a nice day see you in the next clip so I'm going to be using a bit of a new product today. I'm going to be starting off with the Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe vera, cucumber and green tea to get some moisture up in her. Mm. Do you know what? It smells so good. and so refreshing. Oh, damn. Yeah, I got that from Beauty Bay. And I only got the small one because I was like, I don't want to buy the big one in case I don't like it. But I've used it like twice now and I'm I'm living for it. So I'm going to order the bigger one. Hey, come here. Come here. Do this. Look who it is. Look, you're on the camera, doofus. Oh, right, you need to calm down because you're causing a scene. So basically after this I'm just going to kind of go off camera and do my base makeup. Um if if you want another video like an upload an updated foundation routine please comment below because I have got some new products and stuff that uh I have used but I haven't like gave my full review or anything yet. So if you want to see that then comment down below. Hi guys, so I'm back looking crazy as normal. Um, yeah, I've just done my face makeup. I haven't contoured, but I think we'll just we'll go in with a little contour today. Um, oh my god! Sorry, all my product. Excuse me. Can you not? Your little shizzles. Can you focus, please, too? Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the light to medium one because as you can see, I'm a pale ass bitch. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm just going to be using these three, three ones at the bottom. Oh, I have the shades actually. First I go in with, can you focus please? Java. And I'll just go in very, very lightly with this type of brush. Ignore my nails, by the way. They're absolutely ratchet. But my gel nails came off, so DIY. I'll just tap off the excess product. Dee -dee, like that. And I just, you know, I've found that if you bake under here and then contour and then blend it all together, it's seamless. So... Yes, I'm looking snatched already. And then the same with the other cheek. I don't use this palette as much as I should. It's amazing. And then. Boo-boos. 
we leave that to red. So, on to the next step. I think it's going to be brows, so we can wait for this bake to bake a cake and the contour to do its thing. Um, uh, 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 uh. And I'll just go in with this little spoolie thing and I'll just basically brush through the hairs. I have really thick eyebrows as you can see. I mean this is this is all natural babes. Like I need to get them done but I've had other priorities. Voila! And then I'm just gonna take this little ang angled brush and it's from the PS Pro range from Primark. And then I'm going to be taking this brow cream. I'm pretty sure I got this from Asda. I'm not quite sure what shade it is because I ripped off the label. <laughs> um, yeah, but you just literally you need like the tiniest little bit of product. And then I'll start from the end. You can see me, right? Yeah. Get that tail popping. It looks bad already. And then oh, get rid of that big clump of product. We don't need that. And then the top. And then fill in the eyebrow. Okay, we're getting somewhere. And then I don't add any more product on to my brush. I basically I just use this needs to focus. I basically just use whatever's on the excess on the brush and I just draw a line ever so slightly. And then that. ever so slightly. Do this I'm gonna kill him. Not literally, by the way, I love animals. Just in case you think I'm some sort of psycho. No, no, no. And then go back in with the spoolie, which is dirty, but nevertheless. And just brush that through. I don't carve out my eyebrows or anything because I like, I prefer just a more kind of, I just, it's something I've never done before. And I don't plan on doing it now. I mean, so I'm just going to go off camera now. I'll come back with the other brow on and then we can get started on the eyes. So I'm back, 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 back. Basically, we're gonna we're gonna be going in on the eyes now, and I have focus. I've been reaching for this palette literally non-stop since I got it. This one is from Revolution Makeup Revolution, whatever they're called now. I've heard that they've changed the name just to Revolution. I'm not really sure why I go on with that, but nevertheless, yeah. And this palette was literally four pounds, and you can literally. Please, camera, focus on my feet. Yeah, like literally this palette is incredible and it was four pounds, like four pounds. Sorry, what? You can get it from um, Superdrug, um, or there's Tam Beauty, I've heard of that. Sorry if it's, if I kinda like disappear for a minute, my mum's got someone coming over 
but she's on a phone call at the moment and she basically she needs me to answer the door so if I if it's a bit like gotta go sort of moment that's why but anyway I'm going to be taking this flat I'm not really sure what you would call this type of brush but it's like a flat brush and I'm basically just going to be setting my lid with the lightest shade in the palette and this this is a matte shade I would tell you the colour the name of the colour but it's not on there and I basically just pack this all over my eye just to give it a nice base and the thing is about these palettes is these palettes, A, very affordable. Can you even see them? Sorry about that. So I basically just go in like this. Just basically pack it all, all over the lid. Yeah, they're super cheap. Super easy to use. I mean, I was never one for using eyeshadows, but now I'm like, yes, queen. Focus on me. Sorry, I don't know if that's my mum's friend. No, just maybe put two, two layers on it. Just ignore that because that's my mother. Sorry about that, guys. She just started waffling on. I love you, mum. Uh, it's, I need to get like a sign for my room because and say no 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 don't enter Chloe's filming because they are like my sister Lisa or my mum they never know when I'm filming so they just walk in and I'm like can you not right so once we've got that base down I then go in with this <laughs> blending brush Keep it a minimum. Oh, it's because my door's open. BRB, I'm just gonna. Go so sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah. So as I was saying, where is my brush? I basically just go in with this little. I think it's a blending brush, and I use this one. Well, I did use this one to achieve the look. Now with these colours, you don't need much. Trust me. And I basically just go in with the crease, into the crease, sorry. And just really build that up. You just want to be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like a window wiper, like shh, shh. And look at that. Perfectly. Perfectly blend, dude. I'm gonna go and do the other eye. Oh my god, stop it! Sorry, my cat had kittens and I have kittens in my bloody room because we have. You're ruining my video. I'm gonna put my cat in there in a minute because they'll do my tits in. take this sort of angled blending brush actually no I tell a lie where's the other brush that I just had I basically just go back in and just sort of buff this out a bit 
just so that it doesn't look super wild and crazy. Sorry that this keeps going out of focus, it's so stupid. And then again like I go in with this brush and I go in with a slightly darker shade I'm gonna be going in with this one tap the color off don't need that much color and then I turn it upside down so it's like this and I just kind of go under where I've just put the transition shade And the same with the other eye. And then I go in with this colour, this brush even, and I just buff that out. Just so that we have this is a natural look, right? And we want to remain au naturel. Uh, like, we want to be looking like we have been sent down from the gulls. And then, where is, where is this brush, where is it, oh it's right here, and then I'll go in with this, it's a base shadow brush from Real Techniques, so, and I go in with a darker shade than that, tap off the excess because you don't want to be looking crazy, and then I basically just go kind of on the eyelid, kind of in the crease area, like in between just to really darken that up so we get some depth up in here. And then we'll be looking flawless. And then I go in with this brush and blend it out. So I always find, like I've said in my previous videos, you can always add more product. If you go in really heavy handedly, it could be an issue. But if you go in lightly with a little bit of product, you can build it up and it won't look so wild. And then, for the best part, for the star of the show, I'm just going to be taking this finger, this one, and I just kind of lightly spray it with a setting spray, not drench it, because I've just done that, and I basically go in with this shimmer. And I just pack it where my eyeball or my eyelid was left blank. And with your finger, I mean, these blend amazingly. And it's so easy, I mean, for a start, if you, if you don't like spending a lot of money on makeup, which I don't particularly, because you can look snatched on a budget. Um, you know, I would highly recommend getting these palettes. They're great for beginners. 
I mean, like I said, I've, I've worn makeup my whole life. Well, not my whole life, but I've been interested in makeup since I can remember, since I was a little girl. And, um, you know, it's taken me a long, long time to really... Yeah, there we go. May add a little bit more just because. And then I'll just get like a cotton pad, just I'll wipe off that. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and add mascara, put some eyelashes on. Um, I'll be back. You can use any mascara, any eyelashes, doesn't matter. And then we'll be back and then we'll take this bake off. We'll add some highlight and we'll see the finished look. Oh, grr. I'm back guys. I've put on some lashes. As you can see. Uh, I've brushed off my back, so basically for the next few steps what I do is go back to the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and if I can find my brush I go in with this, it's a Morphe M460 um, and it's just this flat brush, contour brush. And I basically go in with the middle one and then a little bit of the last one, which is I go in with Fawn and then I go in with Havana, tap that excess off and I basically just go under the cheekbone. And then I'm just going to go and blend that out using this little guy just gives your cheekbones a little bit of stairs Focus, please. Excuse me. And then I basically just use this, where are we, this little brush. Now this brush is the worst brush I've ever used in my life. I've had to sellotape it together because I got it and it fell apart. But I use it for my nose contour and it's just a double-ended one. So it's supposed to be a concealer two-in-one colour correcting and contour brush and it's from Essence. I just use it for contour. And I basically just go in with the first contour, contour shade that we used. Tap that off. And contour my nose. some more down the other side Ooh. and I just contour the end and then basically you want to be brushing you want to blend up because you want your nose when you contour your nose I guess you want it to look smaller you're not going to be contouring your nose to make it look bigger. So you just basically blend this up. So that it looks natural. So that you look like you've had a nose job, but you haven't. You just want to be blending that out. Because you don't want super harsh lines like down the centre of your face. No, no, no. And there we have it, contoured nose. And then basically, I just take this little eyeshadow brush. I go 
a back in with a second colour we use. So this one. Uh, where are we? This one. Tap that off and I just smoke out the under eye. Because I suffer with severe creased under eyes and I read somewhere if you smoke out the under eye it takes it it doesn't take the creases away that's impossible but it it basically kind of covers them or hides them a little bit it's like oh smoky under eye And then last, last and least, we gon' be going in with a highlighter. What highlighter do I use today? Um, okay, it's a rainy day in England, so I'm going to be popping. Um, so, um, I think we will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette. amazing again though I don't I don't really use this an awful lot anymore it's a shame but I think I'm gonna go in with the shade star tap off that excess it just went all over me and then just apply it to the highlights of the cheek high the high points of the cheekbones And I just take it in between the eyebrows as well, above the eyebrows, and the cupid's bow, and a little bit on the chin, and a shitload on the cheeks. Kind of feel like a tin man, but. Your girl be looking, plopping, plopping, popping. I'm going to go in with blue eyes just to give it that extra little bit of... <sighs> Wonderful. And then I just go in with this Kabuki brush from Primark. And I just basically go ham on my face and we'll end this all together because you want to be looking snatched obviously but you want everything to be looking natural on the face you know what I'm saying oh my I'm so hungry guys I'm so hungry and there we have it the finished look like I said if you guys want to see any more videos like this then feel free to comment below follow me on Instagram at Chloe underscore McIntyre underscore I will leave my link below go and check my Instagram out if you want to join my little family of whatever this is but it doesn't matter the more the merrier um, I hope you all have a lovely day, a lovely week, a lovely life, a lovely whatever. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.